MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell gets served another lawsuit, blames his low Facebook numbers on bots, while free speech advocate Marjorie Taylor Greene notifies the Capitol Police over a Jimmy Kimmel punchline. Select all images with places Matt Gates cruises for dates. High school playground, roller rink, merry-go-round, Chuck E. Cheese's, ice cream shop, bumper cars, DMs, food court, verify. Let me tell you the ramifications of that. If you extrapolate, if you extrapolate the five states we've all been talking about. Look at Brandon just sitting there. Is that a real word? Do I correct Mike? A lot, money. It is pouring MAGA tears. I roast Don Jr., check out Tom Selleck's slow cousin getting served, his hilarious Facebook Live struggle, Marjorie Taylor Greene going after Jimmy Kimmel, and the latest in stupid from Lauren Boebert, Madison Cawthorn, Dr. Oz, and more. The guy with more white powder than Krispy Kreme tweeted, Guys, you have to check this out. Secret Service paying over 30k per month for Malibu Mansion to protect Hunter Biden. <laughs> Naturally, I replied, After Diaper Don was defeated, he inked six months of extended Secret Service protection for you, Ivanka, Eric, and Tiffany at a cost to taxpayers of 1.7 million. The difference is staggering, but you only seem to care about numeric accuracy when you're talking in grams. I went on my personal Facebook here, um, rather than my big one. Bargain Bin Burt Reynolds calls his fan page the big one. Only 13 people were allowed on my on my personal Facebook. Can you believe that? Wow. 13 people, everybody. I was recognizing everybody's name. I said, what's going on here? Mike thinks only 13 people were allowed to watch him on his personal Facebook, but the reality is only 13 people wanted to watch him. Just the ones that are trying to stay in the will, gotta tune in, Mikey's live. So let's just put that there for now. And, uh, by the way, I must be exactly over target again because I have Facebook Live going on and the bots and trolls are not going to let you see this on Facebook Live, everybody. If you had to take a shot every time his phone's about to ring, you would not make it through the end of this video. It's fantastic. For you, you email in your request for your ballot. The guy leading the cyber investigation into the election he says was stoled can't figure out how to block a caller or turn off his cellular during his show from the biggest broadcast place ever. Margarine Taco Gristle tweeted, Prepare for high grocery bills and food shortages. The globalist cabal have broken the supply chain and they have no intention of fixing it. Naturally, I replied, Stop spreading the supply chain fear stupidity. I just returned from a Costco fully stocked with everything except Jewish space lasers. Do the world a favor and slither in your Q bunker with Alex Jones and we'll lock the hatch until it's safe for you to exit. Throws away key. I'm just broadcasting down here from my bunker with Marjorie. She's actually a pretty good dude. We've had some decent times. We have some uh, bedroom deals. I, I make her keep her socks on, and she calls me AOC. <laughs> we actually got a little cardboard and made a mail slot, and it's fun. She shouts at me through it, and then we get funky. Socks stay on, though. Socks stay on. You never take those socks off. I don't want to see those platypus feet, okay? Afterwards, she likes like to get out one of those magic bullets and uh, she makes like a smoothie and she puts all my Patriot vitamins in it. And then we go on the dark web and we watch a bunch of Q videos. So anyway, just l let us know when it's safe to come out of the bunker. Uh, you have the key. We don't. So let us know. OK, so. You, so, yeah, they're going to they're going to they're actually going to wreck it. OK, sorry, everybody. I'm they're going to wreck it. I, I think you wreck everything yourself by sucking. OK. Sorry, everybody on Facebook, they keep calling on this number, so it's probably not going to work. We'll try. Um, if you go get the Frank Speech app, right? If you go get the Frank Speech app, you can, you can watch us right now. He's so dumb, he thinks you have to be on a plane to use airplane mode. <laughs> Brandon, can you believe this? I'm going to no, show everybody no, what I, they do. No, I cannot Here's believe it. Here's what they do to my phone, everybody. Okay? Now watch. I hang it up. Okay, let's see that. What it is, it's an auto dialer so they can't do Facebook Live. This is what they don't want. Okay, see that? You see that? 
Isn't that something? That is crazy. Every time, every time there's an important thing. You guys go to Frank's, go to Frank's speech, everybody. I think this is a good time to mention I made these Let's Go Darwin mugs, and they've got my MAGA Tears logo on the other side. If you want to support the show, I have these, some other mugs and fun stickers, or you can now tip me with this PayPal QR code or the link in the description. Either way, thank you for watching. Back to the show. I can tell you firsthand that these parties happen. I can tell you that they continue to happen. I can tell you that Madison Cawthorn told me yesterday that he had not retracted what he said, even though Kevin McCarthy seems to have popped up and is speaking now for the member of Congress, saying, oh, he admitted that he made, no, I don't think he's admitted anything of the kind. I don't think he's admitted embellishing uh, or retracted anything he said. Alex, he spoke the truth. First hand, meaning he's been there. He goes. This is who Don Jr. and Mitch have been crushing it with. Uh, Madison, when did Roger Stone arrive? I didn't hear Don Jr. say it was time to bring out the gimp. Uh, I'm, I'm not ready. We have to put the rubber sheet down and stuff. Can, can somebody get me a bump? Jimmy Kimmel made a joke about Marjorie Taylor Greene's repeated ridiculous videos and said, where is Will Smith when you really need him? And she reacted by tweeting, ABC, this threat of violence against me by Jimmy Kimmel has been filed with the Capitol Police. Naturally, I replied, you're so dumb you think the Capitol Police jurisdiction extends to Hollywood because of the Capitol Records Tower. Marjorie Trader Clown chased David Hogg through the streets, makes videos of her shooting objects representing her opponents, thought the insurrection was just a bunch of tourists, and voted against Capitol Police officers being awarded congressional gold medals. Calling the Capitol Police on Jimmy Kimmel will do as much good as her pull-ups. This woman is a danger to herself and everyone around her. It's all this group of media and people are handing me they were handing me, um, um, you know, different things here, Mike, keep, you know. Mike's talking about when he got served in Colorado, when everybody was handing him all sorts of different things. Let's look at the clip of everyone handing him different things. Thank you, Mike. Thank you for everything. What is this? Sir, sir, what is this? It's for you. Okay, well, what is it? It's not for me. It's not for me. It's for you. Okay, I, I need it all, but I don't... That is, that is a full document right there, sir. Oh, it is. Sorry. This guy in his Iraq-Afghanistan veteran hat drops it on him. Sir, what is this? It's court documents. He should have said it's secret hacker cyber stuff for you, and then watch Lindell open it like a present. Oh, oh, hacker stuff. Oh, come on. Again, no one else handing Mike a bunch of stuff. It's not like he was getting flowers and candy there. It's a lawsuit, another lawsuit. They, they, um, Eric Coomer, the president of uh, Dominion, don't know if he still is, but he sued myself, he sued my pillow, and he sued frankspeech.com. So he sued Frank Speech and my pillow, um, thousands of employees. The lawsuit adds to Mike's stack of lawsuits, or as he says, lawsuits is. What lawsuits is are going on? What lawsuits is are going on? That is another former Dominion employee suing him for defamation, or as he says, defamation. Um, that was a defamation one that they, uh... Again, says he could have been a lawyer. I thought I did some grocery shopping. I'm at Wegner's, and uh, my wife wants some vegetables for crudite, right? So here's a broccoli. That's two bucks, not a ton of broccoli there. There's some asparagus, that's four dollars. Yep, carrots, that's four more dollars. That's ten dollars of vegetables there. And then we need some guacamole, that's four dollars more. And she loves salsa, yeah, there's salsa there. Six dollars, must be a shortage of salsa. Guys, that's twenty dollars for crudite, and this doesn't include the tequila. I mean, that's outrageous. And we got Joe Biden to thank for this. First off, if you're on a fake shopping trip, at least grab a basket. Those prices aren't even bad. The guy's got more fresh food than he can comfortably hold for 20 bucks. You want to save money? Make your own salsa, make your own guacamole. Do a show on that. And if you look, the salsa's actually $4.99. He's looking at the bruschetta next to it. This is just embarrassing. 
American Borat continues to talk while Brandon seems to be distracted by his phone. Keeps keeps peeking over, looking at it. Something's up. Something something's got Brandon's eye. Physical votes mail. Remember, okay, wait a minute. Wait, just, one, just one second. You're not calling me, are you? Because my now now it says over and over you're calling me. No, that's the guy. He's hacked your phone. So take up your phone. Oh crap. You're not calling me. You are on a live interview with Slow Selleck. Do you see a phone in his hand? Is he doing it under the table like in the movie The Departed? Come on. Yep, he's hanging now up he your keeps phone. calling me over and over as Mike Lindell. Yeah, it's an auto dialer. This guy's out. We'll try and get to him and see if we can get him put in prison. Hey, what are you in for? I made an auto dialer to prank call Tom Selleck's slow cousin and his best in show Kmart suit sidekick. Um, you know, this is what we were up against, oh, everybody. Good grief. Uh, maybe we can get him, uh, get him uh, arrested uh, for something. I don't even know. Again, this is the card counting genius that said he was going to be a lawyer. We'll get him arrested, I don't know, what for, whatever. Father in heaven, we firmly believe that Donald J. Trump is the current and true president of the United States. You have raised him up for this season of time to be used to be part in saving a nation. We declare he will be back in office soon, very soon, in Jesus' name, amen. These people are insane. And if they pray instead of voting in more elections, the world will be a better place. While President Trump was in office, we didn't have a war, and I think he made three peace treaties. Caught Osama, Osama bin Laden and Soleimani, al-Baghdadi, and this president is weak. The guy she's attacking watched bin Laden go down live in 2011 while Trump was in diapers judging competing lemonade stands at the South Street Seaport for a reality show. Lauren Burntbulb tweeted, Next year, the woke Disney lobbyists will ask Congress to extend Mickey Mouse's trademark. I think not. Naturally, I replied, I think not is an accurate self-statement from the not-thinking bikini car wash reject that can't even spell Mickey. I think not should be on every hat and t-shirt worn by the fake glasses dropout that married a bowling alley flasher and wanted to impeach Biden say about it you love your trump absolutely number one reason why you love president trump is why he's gonna save america and he loves us he absolutely loves us america first you know make america great again enough trump does not love you he thinks you're disgusting jackson will never be confirmed <laughs> she is bad woman mega tears i find this man funny if he shut up mega tears you are pure misinformation. God bless Donald Trump and Mike Lindell. Maga tears. Real men watch Sean Hannity and Tucker, not this lefty nonsense. Maga tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend. If you can afford to, please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link below, or check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those mega tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several arena and theater tours with Jim Jeffries, and I have three albums. You can stream them wherever you like. Thanks for watching. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.